hello amy here back with another video i'm gonna show you how i made uh turkey wings okay so i started with turkey wings two wings i washed them with lime and lemon and i also cut them in half where you have the drumstick and the wings so now i'm seasoning it ground black pepper make sure you season both sides all the seasoning you put on one side make sure you put it on the other now i'm adding paprika you can use whatever seasoning you like this is just what i like and why what i'm using i am also using onion powder here make sure you add that to both sides and make sure it's well coated this doesn't have any salt neither does the paprika but the creole seasoning has salt you don't need to add table salt the creole seasoning is already have enough salt make sure you coat that on both sides and make sure you stir it well so it's well seasoned so now i'm turning it and i am adding all the seasoning that i added to one side i'm gonna make sure that i add that to the other side as well adding the creole seasoning at first and then i'm gonna be adding the uh, paprika and after that i'm gonna be adding the onion powder you can also do garlic powder but i'm gonna add fresh garlic in a little bit so i'm finished adding the paprika right here make sure it's well coated and um, black pepper and now i'm adding some chopped up vegetables which is onions bell peppers green onions jalapeno and i have one habanero pepper that i'm not gonna add that right now i'm gonna add it towards the end when i'm making the the gravy the sauce so I'm squeezing half a lime on top of it, even though I already wash it with lime. Yes, I do wash my meat. If you don't want to wash your meat, that's up to you. But I I was raised uh, in a culture where we wash all our meats. So that's what I'm doing. Adding and squeezing the lime is optional. I took some water, washed my hands, took some water from the sink, a very tiny bit of water just to make sure the mixture of the seasoning uh, mix mix it really well and what i'm gonna do afterwards is let it season let the seasoning and let it marinate for a couple of hours uh, before i actually cook it that's what i had for sunday dinner in the morning i seasoned this i let it sit for like two or three hours and then i actually cook it before i put it on the stove i am gonna go ahead and add some olive oil just about a tablespoon this is optional and i'm gonna stir it well make sure it's well coated now i'm using uh the spilon to crush my garlic i like using fresh garlic so i am removing the peel now my garlic is well crushed up now i'm gonna transfer it to the stove on medium heat and i'm gonna add half of the garlic in there and the remaining is gonna be used to cook my kale i have a video on how to make the kale check it my on my channel i added some water this is after i covered it and let it cook for about on low heat for about an hour now i'm adding some additional water and i'm adding the fresh vegetables for the stew uh the gravy or the sauce however you want to call it so i'm adding the white onions and i'm adding the bell peppers and habanero pepper at this time it's about uh almost done for the last five to ten minutes that's when i added these vegetables because i don't want them to cook really well I want them to just steam I don't want them to be well done at this point because I like them a little crunchy so now this is still on low heat it doesn't have 
a lot of bubbles. That's how you know, um, you know, the heat was very low at this point because it's, like I said, the sauce is almost ready. Now I'm just tasting it to see does it need more salt, but it didn't really need anything. It tasted so delicious. And I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for about a minute or two. And... Doesn't that sound wonderful? So now my turkey wings uh, is ready. I plated it and we had it with um, kale as well as white rice and sweet plantains. Enjoy. Try my recipe. Let me know how you like it. This is for Sunday dinner. If you want to make it for Thanksgiving, you can. Some people make it like that for Thanksgiving. Enjoy, please.